Did someone snore? Is that a real snore? Is that a real snore? There you go.
Hey, John. Hey, I. What's going on? I bring up the Sanford and uh, Pallavi. All right. Hi, John. How are you? Hi, uh, welcome. Welcome all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, you coming in? Uh, our, Christmas, our Christmas preparations going on. Oh, okay. I can hardly hear you. I'm sorry. Hi, you coming in? Yeah, I'm coming in, man. See, uh, Sampath is the WS the world skull base chief, man. Oh, okay. Sampath That's Manage super. Okay, a lot of interaction. A lot of interaction. Okay, I'll see you inside. Yes, yes, I'm coming in, man. I'm coming in. Okay. Good to see you, John. Good Thank you. you. Thank you very much. We'll work together, okay? Later after the program. Okay. We'll do. Yeah, I'm going to introduce. I'm going to introduce him towards the end of the program. I'm going to introduce Sampat. He's a surgeon par excellence man, and uh, he does the largest skull base course on the planet. Listen, I. We're going to change Zoom. We're going to make it commercially okay. viable. Put putting commercials at the end of the webcast. That's the way to go. Get the vendors ready. We're, we're going to show their stuff after the webcast. It won't bother the presentation. It'll be after. You know what I mean? And we'll have a good good introduction to the products by having the neurosurgeons already there. Neil Van Sarma and all the things. Maybe you can talk a bit about WSPS yeah. and what you do. Yeah. Maybe... Uh, as soon, I mean, as soon as I, I've been just asked, John, we are coming in, man. We are coming okay. In. Right, right. Hello, Asha, can you hear me? Ooh. Hi, John. Hey, Asha, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Good, I tell you, you see the subtitles now? You see the captions? Okay, I'll see. Just now it is not coming. Oh, okay. You're on the smartphone, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if it has it, but, but it's a big day. They have captions that will translate in real time to other okay, languages. Okay. I mean, that's right, a big right. step. Right, right. Thank you. Okay. Merry we'll Christmas, John. I'm sorry? Merry Christmas, I said. Oh, yeah. Same to you. Thank you. Oh, thank they, you. They celebrate it just like we do here, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. We'll catch you. Okay. No camera, right? You're in the at work. Yeah, yeah. I'm at work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. 
ازيك تكاشي جو هاي تكاشي هاي دوين ازيك Hey, so John. Using, using Can you hear me, man? Of, yeah, you're looking for a couple of people you're going to televise too. That's fine. John, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, over here. Oh, just click that. Click once. Increase the sound. Biden. Full, 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 full. As it joins the night, yeah. now these small vessels yeah, yeah. from okay. these stem arteries are cauterized. And divide. This is what I refer to as skeletonization or pruning these small vessels as they okay. leave the front. Skeleton okay, I, you're almost ready. Hello. So we, we can wait a few minutes. Okay. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be more people coming. But I, I, do, you see the, do you see the captions? I've already been interrupted. And now can this interruption allows the AVF to be lifted up. Where the remaining feeders. Uh, are. I can you see the? Uh, I can you hear me? Unblocked. I can hear you, man. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Can so you turn the video off? See these preserved the trunks, and the only the skeletal what do you want me to? that fed the, the video. Area. Turn it off. All right. Now I'm looking I, at the. I um, haven't introduced um, you yet. Okay. Little okay. Artery. And here is a small aneurysm that was identified. Because we haven't started. We haven't started yet. Okay. This and is clip occluded. Here's our final yeah, overview good. of the resection. Mute your so what's the illustration of. Yeah, just I know it's tough sometimes to put videos on when you're live streaming. But uh, let me introduce you first, Ipe, okay? You ready, Ipe? Oop, I guess you fell off. It's tough to coordinate videos. It really is. Takashi, would you? Do you take off, Takashi? Hello, Ahmad. Ahmad Perzad from Afghanistan. Hello. Oh, I guess you can't talk. You must be in the hospital. I imagine. Hello. Hello, Professor. Ahmad, are you in the hospital? Can you hear me, John? Yes. All right, so when do you want me to start? Okay, hold on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hello, Professor John. Hold on. Uh, okay, let me mute everybody first. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Good morning. This is Dr. John Bennett broadcasting from the home of Neurosurgical TV in beautiful Miami Beach. We have the pleasure of hosting Iperian's innovations, and, and one of Ipe's innovations to, is to take a close look at a state-of-the-art production oh. video of Michael Lawton from uh, from Barrow. Uh, and uh, I'd like to introduce Ipe. He's been working with me for a long time. Okay, Ipe, welcome. Thank you, John. Uh, to another episode of uh, Innovations, I will be commenting on... Uh, Dr. Lawton's I made the, you will need to mute your video, I mean. I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. So I'm gonna share screen, I'm not, I'm not gonna start off straight off. So, no, I'll share, oh yeah. So, uh, this would be. You have to click on that. Just share again. Go back to share. New share. New share. Click on. Hello. Share, share sound thing. also. 
share. Let's just click on this and share. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. You want to? Yeah, there you go. Put a full screen. Yeah, that's good. Perfect, perfect. I. Can you hear? Yes, we can hear. Oh, I, I'm sorry. If I cannot hear the video, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm also not hearing it. I mean, for some reason. So. Yeah. Well, let's just start over again and make sure you click on the sound option. Yeah. Just start over. Just start over again. No problem. All right. Uh, yeah. There you gotta, yeah just start. Yeah. Start again and make sure you click the sound option on the way. The first screen yeah. is a sound option. Yes. Okay. Now you go share. to share. Desktop. No. 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 This one. This one. So yes. Share. Now this has to share sound. Yeah. Share. Now we come back here. Still don't hear it. Hold on. Yeah. You're playing it, right? Still not hearing it. You think, John, you can play the sound? Rotted artery stenosis. Yeah, yeah. Two days ago. That, okay, we got it. He was clinically worse postoperatively. And diagnostic evaluation demonstrated a patent STA M4 bypass, but the supraclinoid carotid artery had progressed to complete occlusion. Perfusion studies demonstrated hemodynamic insufficiency despite the patent bypass. Therefore, an additional bypass was considered. Here is imaging studies. The CT angiogram on the upper left shows preoperatively how his supraclinoid carotid artery was open and filling out the M1 middle cerebral artery. The angiogram images on the right show that the bypass is patent, shown in the center picture, but only fills the angular artery. The image to the right demonstrates how the supraclinoid carotid artery progressed to complete occlusion just distal to the takeoff of the ophthalmic artery. His perfusion studies are shown here, and you can see that blood flow in the middle cerebral artery territory so uh, Michael is uh, assessing, I mean, there are many new indications for an STMC anastomosis now. So uh, Michael is showing as a beautiful example of uh, an indication for an STMC. These were cases, uh, and now these are cases in many countries which are not referred for a bypass because a cerebral bypass, unlike the cardiac bypass, is technically a bit more difficult. And uh, it, it's not very popular at the moment. Now, this is what I intend to change. Um, so the whole purpose of this video would be one, to show these beautiful videos that Michael is showing, then show what we are doing. And then uh, whatever doubts the younger neurosurgeons has, I mean, on the panel or as attendees, whatever doubts that you guys have, you keep asking us and we will tell you, how to join these vessels together. In fact, just yesterday, we had uh, uh, one of the largest courses on the planet with the world skull base and Bangalore. And uh, one of the sessions was on bypass. So yesterday we were doing a bypass course. And today we are talking about this today. It's a, it's a coincidence. So Victoria is remarkably diminished and if you look at mean transit time on the lower right, you can see elevated mean transit times in the MCA distribution. Based on those imaging findings, it was felt that additional blood flow augmentation was needed with a double barrel STA MCA bypass, and the M2 middle cerebral artery was selected for the recipient site to get flow deeper into the territory. These illustrations show the patient position in the supine position, as well as the skin incision and craniotomy. 
Key surgical steps included reopening of the prior skin incision with extension anteriorly to chase the anterior limb, harvesting of the anterior limb of the STA for the donor vessel, additional craniotomy over the sylvian fissure, an aggressive sylvian fissure split, identification of a frontal M2 trunk as a recipient artery. Deep now what Michael is talking about is a ST to M2 anastomosis. Now M2s are large vessels and uh, uh, technically, although technically it's easy, but then you're going far away from the surface, your depth is increasing. Uh, and plus you, you have to maneuver the sylvian veins and then get into the M2 to get to get the MC, I mean STA to the M2. So difficulty wise, an M4, much smaller actually, an M4 would be much smaller. And uh, it obviously will not fill like an M2 trunk, but then if you are needing just a flow augmentation, M4 would be better like we will be showing you, I mean, another video. Uh, and Michael obviously is gonna show an M2 anastomosis. Deep anastomosis to the M2 segment with running sutures. <coughs> And finally, video angiography to confirm patency of the bypass. Here is an overview of the sylvian fissure after extending the craniotomy into a more typical terional craniotomy. The sylvian fissure was split, and you can see looking at the vessels here how white they are. This is an indication of how little blood flow is going into the M1 and M2 stem arteries. Here I am surveying for my recipient artery, and a good recipient is found on the frontal side of the sylvian fissure. Here's an overview of the superficial temporal artery. This is our donor trunk, and I'm here just harvesting additional length in the trunk in order to reach down into the sylvian fissure. And I've already harvested the M2 anterior branch. Here is a slit that is being cut into the temporalis muscle to enable a more direct course of that anterior limb. So looking into the sylvian fissure here, we can see the recipient site. I needed a retractor to hold open the sylvian fissure, and you can see that this is a deeper and more narrow surgical corridor. The temporal artery here is being fish-mouthed with this oblique cut and then a longitudinal cut. You can see the wide opening here. The vessels are brought together in the sylvian fissure, and I'm preloading the temporal artery with a 9-0 monofilament suture. I'm using the bifurcation here of this M2 trunk in order to lengthen that arteriotomy. These AVM clips trap the recipient site, and with these arteriotomy scissors, I can make a nice long linear arteriotomy into the bifurcation. Here is my anchoring stitch that will bring the STA together with the M2 trunk. Here's the toe stitch that brings the toe down to the other end of the arteriotomy. And here's the anchoring knot which secures them. You can see from this view that the tissues are quite thickened. That's because we're on these deeper M2 vessels. And the superficial temporal artery here is also very thick and also quite atherosclerotic. The high magnification doesn't tell you the whole story of this working window. The small craniotomy that I made really cramped the corridor and made it very difficult to maneuver in this deep and narrow opening. Here I'm flipping the STA over to get a good view of the suture line interluminally and everything looks fine. Now I can continue with the second suture line. Again, you'll notice how this 9-0 needle, which is a hefty needle, is needed to push that needle through the atherosclerotic tissues on the STA and also the M2. But as the suturing continues, you can see these walls come together very nicely in this generous arteriotomy. The fish mouth does a nice job of creating a wide anastomotic area. And here we finish the anastomosis by tightening the loops of suture and then tying them down. 
you can see in this overview how the retractor on the left and the bone edge on the right really make this a tight and narrow window. These AVM clips come off to initiate flow and you can see a little bit of bleeding which is easily controlled with some fibrillar nunit and pressure. And now as we come off with the temporary clip, flow initiates in the bypass and we have good pulsation. Our IC green video angiogram confirms patency of the bypass and good flow. Here's an overview of that wide fish mouth anastomosis to that M2 trunk. You can see that the recipient middle cerebral vessel looks more pink and healthy with more flow. Here is the overview of the double barrel bypass. The patient tolerated this procedure well. The second bypass, the STAM2 bypass, was patent. The patient had marked improvement in his middle cerebral artery perfusion as documented by his perfusion studies. He was transferred to... So uh, what Michael has just uh, showed us is a brilliant uh... Uh, STMC bypass, it's a ST to M2 bypass. Now, this is one of the most important uh, surgical skills that a neurosurgeon should have. Now, why is it important? The indications are becoming bigger and bigger. The pool of indications are becoming bigger and bigger. And uh, for many years, this surgery was not done because of some study uh, which I would say was very biased. And uh, now I suppose just sitting with aspirin is uh, not exactly the way to go. I mean, the Japanese have started a lot of uh, studies. They are shown. And even now, ba now Barrow and many other leading centers have uh, done the same thing. So we're going to show uh, another bypass, this time an STM4 bypass performed at uh, Krishna Vishwavidya Pit for a giant cavernous uh, sinus uh, aneurysm. So I'm going to share the screen. Um, I'll share the entire desktop. Now I'll, I'll have to go here. Close this. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see the screen now? Everybody? John, can you see the screen? Yes, we can see it. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So we are going to, so this is a giant, uh, I see cavernous my aneurysm. Well, I would have uh, tried to, I would have uh, gone ahead and clipped it, but it's uh, not necessary. The patient passed the BTO test, but you can see evidence of volume loss here and uh, there are strokes happening. So this patient, uh, although she passed the BTO, her cross circulation is okay. I would definitely want to do a flow augmentation here. Since I need only a flow augmentation, I can go for an M4 branch. Technically, it's a smaller vessel, um, but I don't have to go into the sylvian here. I can do it on the surface. So... This is exactly what I'm going to show you. So you can see the aneurysm here. You can see the angiogram, which shows a little bit of delay. This is the position of the patient. And we are harvesting the ST. And now this is done completely under the exoscope. So the magnifications are 60 to 70 plus, And you can see the, the vasa vasorum of these vessels. So it's a 0.8 millimeter vessel. You can see the vasa vasorum here now of the ST. We are opening the dura, exposing the brain. And so you have the M3 branches coming out of the uh, sylvian fissure and then we have M4 branches here. We select an M4 branch and then we go ahead, bring the, uh, bring the flap, the ST down and then we assess the length of the ST towards the recipient, trim the ST just accordingly after passing it through the temporalis muscle, 
keep almost always keep another three centimeter extra so that there is no force, there is no traction on the ST. And then you dissect the arachnoid over the recipient vessel very carefully, taking care that the cortical surface vessels, uh, the feeding cortical surface vessels should be taken. So you can see that the feeding cortical surface vessels in that region, they are taken. So since it, these are very small vessels, you don't have a problem. I put the rubber dam not for a color contrast, but because I don't want this, uh, this cotton pieces coming in my way. At this high magnification, these cotton pieces can be, you know, quite uh, an irritation. So you can see the ST now, the lumen of the ST clearly. <laughs> you trim the lumen. You, uh, I don't always go for fish mouthing. Uh, if it is necessary, yes, but I don't go for extensive fish mouthing. And in M4, it's generally not needed sometime. I mean, if it's needed, of course, yes, nothing is nothing religious about it. So I make the, I mark it just like Michael had marked. I mark the recipient also uh, here. And then I generally use a flap or if uh, if it is big enough, then I go for, uh, you know, a single slice incision. These are instruments designed by us, uh, manufactured by an Indian company called Omedic. Uh, we found that the German instruments uh, were not good enough for very high magnification uh, anastomosis. So then we had designed this. And one other thing is it's way less costly. So, I mean, of one third of the price of a scissor in, uh, for the German instruments, I get my whole set of uh, about six to eight instruments. It's very important in our part of the world because we don't want, uh, you know, we do not, our surgeries don't generate the kind of income uh, in, like in the United States or in Europe. It's very important that we have uh, good, excellent instruments at a uh, very affordable price. Now you can see at high magnification how we are going ahead and uh, closing off uh, the anastomosis. I don't do running sutures. This is because I believe that if you do a running suture, your anastomosis cannot expand. Uh, well, uh, this is two different perspectives and I respect both the perspectives. But my perspective is that once you put in a running suture, the running sutures are going to be a constant uh, diameter thing and it doesn't expand. But when you do a intermittent sutures, although technically it's a bit more, every time you'll have to take a knot uh, and you may argue that the time needed is more, but I don't think so. So uh, you can easily produce five or eight sutures, five or six sutures on each side, other than the two and the heel sutures, and place it perfectly. And generally after this, you shouldn't have any major leaks. Small leaks, of course, you can put in a little bit of surgery cell and wait. But if you have any major leak, that means uh, your suturing is not right. And then, of course, you have to make sure that the surfaces that you are taking is always averted. Otherwise, you'll have a flap inside and that will close off the anastomosis. And you can see now the ICG and, uh, you know, how, how beautifully it's perfusing. So I'm going to stop sharing now. And uh, I'm going to uh, ask for some interactions. Anybody who's uh, uh, interested to ask any questions, please go ahead and uh, ask questions. Okay, the floor is open to get into this. Amad, do you have any comments or, or anything you want to say? Ahmad is from Afghanistan. He's the president. Yeah, he's of the pres he was the president of uh, Afghan Society of Neurosurgeons 10 years back. And I remember staying with him in uh, Kazakhstan. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Thank you for uh, presentation. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, hello, and uh, hello, Professor John. 
Hey, welcome, welcome, Ahmad. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent to see you, Dr. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, and Thank you for sharing the photo as well. Yeah, Ahmad is starting in Afghanistan Grand Rounds and associated with Harvard. Yes, yes, uh, I, yes. I, I, no, uh, yeah, okay, I, okay. I mean, uh, I, I, I've seen that and it's excellent. I mean, see, 10 years back, I remember in uh, Kazakhstan, we were together. And after that, I've seen him all over the world. He's, uh, yeah. Very uh, active. Difficulties in his country, he travels a lot and he comes to all these conferences. And uh, I know he must be having a quite a tough time at that time. I, know, I think th th times have improved now. And uh, at that time, when the country was under war, I remember this man traveling all over the world and, uh, you know, uh, showing what they are doing in Afghanistan. So kudos, my kudos to him. Huh? All respect to him. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you, you know, uh, this talk is going to be uh, shared in many platforms. I saw Takashi Kon. So Takashi was, uh, has a huge platform. Uh, I see South Americans already here. So then the Chinese has a platform. So uh, they share it. So we have a huge uh, viewership in, uh, in in a matter of uh, about one to two months. We have a huge viewership. Now, another person I would like to introduce, John, is uh, Dr. Sampachandra Rao. He's a skull-based surgeon par excellence. Now... John uh, Sampath is a uh, Sampath is a uh, Sampath is somebody who's uh, uh, who's really revolutionized the field of skull base surgery. He was with uh, Professor Mario Sana for seven eight years in Italy, and after that he's come back to India. He's one of the best skull base surgeon. When it comes to lateral skull base surgeon, there's no other name. So and uh, he has exceptional videos with anatomy of the jugular foramen, uh, the far lateral approaches, the mastoid drillings, and all this. So, which the neuro a lot of neurosurgeons come to him for. Atlantic learning. Spine Center offers endoscopic oh, lumbar uh, discectomy. Uh, did you want to share that? I but stop being shared. The backbone is one of the most important parts we of the body. We have a. It's not it's being shared. Like allowing you to stand upright, bend, and twist. Yeah. We gotta share that, right? It's not being shared. Okay, minimize. Thirty-three individual bones minimize. interlock with each other to form the spinal column. Yeah. The vertebrae are numbered. You better start over, life, and and yeah. share it. Share, it. yeah, please. C one through C seven. It's, it's not being shared. Form your neck, Close. support your head and neck, and allow you to nod and shake your head. One of these. Thirty-three individual. I know it's difficult. It's difficult to coordinate. <laughs> Yeah. The vertebrae are numbered. You better start over, like, and see. Yeah, uh, let, yeah. let's yeah. Yeah. please yeah. stop it. I we we're not seeing it yeah. at all. Please start again. No problem. Just start again. Yeah. We'll yeah, get we, it. It's it's difficult. It. Okay, we start again. It. Start sharing the video again. Okay, I'll let you know if it comes on. Yeah, it's man. not. It's not. I can't see it. I can't see it. You're not sharing the screen. No, no, we are not uh, sharing the screen, John. Oh, we oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just introducing. I'm just introducing Sampath right now. Uh, oh, okay. What I want is, uh, we we will have some. And Sampath also runs a, a large organization called the World Skull Base. Now they do courses. Right now they finished an eleven day course, one of the largest in the world. In fact, probably the largest course in the world. So you can check his website out. He'll give you the details. I'll connect you to him. And they uh, they have these huge courses where they run for 11 days, 12 days, anterior skull base, lateral skull base is divided into many into many parts. And these are comprehensive courses. So I'll ask uh, Sampat to just probably talk about it a bit. Uh, and then we can have Sampat to collaborate with us on neurosurgical sure. TV and sure. talk about his courses, some, some yeah. I was going to ask you to share. Let's share share the website and share the courses, yeah, yeah, and show yeah. show us what you're talking about. Somebody, do you have a website that you yeah. can share? Hi, John. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi. At Daniel Surgical TV, I and mean, uh, it's a fantastic platform. I follow uh, all of you, and I see your uh, videos quite often uh, when when I have the time. You know, sometimes log in. So, uh, I've has been a dear friend, and uh, you know, uh, he's. Uh, 
faculty at uh, what we call the World's College Fellowship Diplomas. These fellowship diplomas are university uh, diplomas awarded to dissectors who spend uh, uh, 14 days in lateral skull base and 11 days in anterior skull base. Cumulatively, we are 26 days uh, in the dissection hall. That apart, there are assistant dissectors and observers as well. No, no. Uh, assistant dissectors and observers as well. So we have a 100 capacity audience every single time. Um, uh, we just concluded the anterior skull base fellowship diplomas uh, uh, today, and uh, we've been uh, at it for, for the last 11 days. 30 faculties uh, and uh, um, six, 72 lectures, 60 hours of dissection makes it one of the largest courses in, in, um, in uh, I mean, at least in this side of the world, I, I'm not sure. Uh, excuse uh, me, excuse me, could you share the website? Just tell me, I'll, I can share it. Just tell yes. me the website address. Can you the type it in? The website address type? is www.wsbf. Okay. WSB, uh, do you want me to type it? For you? Yeah, please, please. On the chat? Yeah. Yeah. Type yeah. it for you on the chat. Yeah, okay. www.wsb hyphen found uh, fellowship uh, hyphen foundation. Yeah, show, show people. Show people. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's just go over the website. It sounds like that's probably separate, the best way to do it. Uh, website for the fellowship uh, diplomas. Uh, yeah, let me give that a shot first. Okay, let me share. Okay, hold on. I got it here. Let me share the sound here in case you... Okay, there we go. Just tell me where to go. You, you see the uh, so, screen, right? Uh, you, you you can go to uh, uh, conf uh, you, you can go to conferences. Uh, no, uh, go down, scroll the same page down. No, uh, 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 no, go go to home and scroll the same page lower down, and I'm sure you'll find a. Go to home, please. Home, yes. Okay. Okay, we're at home now. Where do we go from home? here? Uh, yes, and just scroll down. There you see the yeah. Uh, it's down further. Yes, go down, please. Okay, down, down, down. Mm, yes, so uh, go up, go up a little bit. Uh, in one of those boxes, you see, uh, register now. You can click on uh, lateral or anterior. And then uh, uh, you can uh, you you'll go to the uh, the event website. But the event website itself is uh, I will uh, probably type out the event website as well. Okay, should I type on the, the lateral skull base surgery? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Let's press on. Okay. Is this probably you want to be? Yeah, this is the one. This is the event website. Okay. So and for those when... who are interested in registering, uh, you could uh, click here, get into the website. There are links for registration. Uh, the rules are laid down on this website. The venue, the uh, uh, the curriculum, everything is, is in one of the links up here. So this is a website dedicated specially for the fellowship diplomas, which are our flagship program. But uh, the foundation website is the one which you showed earlier. It's oh, okay. uh, the other tab, you know. So, oh, the so the, yes, we also this, have a more use with several universities. So if you want to know more about the foundation itself, you could go to the foundation website. But this one here is uh, is the website for the fellowship diplomas. It's just finished, right? Just finished. We just uh, concluded the anterior okay. service for diploma. And uh, oh. we had uh, lateral skull base fellowship diplomas in uh, August. So the next year's courses will be in uh, in the same months as well, in uh, August and in uh, December. So the uh, the lateral ones are always in August of every year, the last week of August, in fact. And the anterior ones are uh, on uh, in the last week 
of December, but the next year we may shift it to January. The, the dates may vary a little bit. So, but all the information will be available in the website that you just showed. Okay, very good. Okay, I, where should John, we go from here? Okay. John, this is the largest and the most comprehensive skull base. I've been into skull base courses all over the world, and this is the largest and the most comprehensive skull base course in the world. Now, and these guys are not like me. They are so much more organized than me. And this, these are the guys you may want to collaborate with. So, well, you know, uh, is he impressed with uh, uh, Dr. Lawton's technology and making videos? Because he makes a lot of videos, correct? He can do that. He, he can easily do that. And he's got a fantastic team doing everything. It's not so, easy. It's not easy. He knows that, right? Mm. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, you know, I'm too lazy for that, man. I am a surgeon. Well, it so takes a I, lot of work, I right? You, you, with me. No, you so, do a lot of work, it's, but it's not <laughs> easy. It's time-consuming. It's time-consuming. Yeah, but you see his website and all that? You see his website, Sam's Yeah, website. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Cla first class. I would say it's more impressive than Michael's, okay? Yeah. So you, okay. you need to look at that website. And, yeah, uh, sure. The Give programs. Me okay. okay. And these programs are grand. I can tell you that. I mean, you've seen Albert's programs. These are really grand programs. So is it once a year, or is there, are there more workshops? More than one a year? Two, two events a year. Two events a year. When's the next one? The, we just finished one. No, when's August. the next one? That one uh, in August. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Sam, let Sam tell you, man. So uh, the lateral skull base fellowship diplomas are always in August, in the last week of August. And the anterior skull base fellowship diplomas were always in uh, in December, the, the mid uh, December. But um, uh, I've been requested to shift this to the first week of January every year. So the next year's courses uh, will be in August and the January of 2025 rather than the December of 2024. Very good. Very good. And they have they have a eleven day course, and uh, you know. You probably wouldn't believe the cost of it is uh, somewhere near eight thousand dollars, man. So, uh, for one per per the sector, and people are lining up for it, okay, from all over the world. And so, these are the courses that you may need to kind of, uh, you know, televise and see what we can do. And uh, you know, you need to collaborate with him. I'll connect you to him, and then we can collaborate. We can even do an online uh, course. Because he has the ability to, he has a website and we, neurosurgery coach and him, we can do an online skull base course. Mm -hmm. So uh, like Same, what Same is doing, way grander than that, because this guy is so organized, you wouldn't believe how organized he is. Okay, so. Uh, you, you have to be to edit long videos and putting in inserts and it's not easy. It's not know, easy. And, and, yeah. The only reason I do my videos is when I'm, I have my fellows around. You know, otherwise I'm a lazy bum, man. So yeah. I, well, I'm the same way with ed editing. I just don't like it at all. <laughs> it, it clashes with me. But I, I tell you, the platform's changing. Zoom got so much more powerful with this caption uh, option because now this video can be live streamed to anybody and have it translated in real time now people don't know they say translated what's that well no in real time means what i'm saying right now gets translated into 160 languages in real time that's a huge step in education uh, ahmed is asking whether afghan neurosurgical society members can apply of course anybody can apply i mean people from all over the world are coming for his courses so we will. I will connect you uh, to my Sam. Could you put your email down, man, on the yeah, chat box sure. so that people can? Uh, uh, John, I'm going to uh, connect you to him. I'm getting his email to you, and yeah. then uh, I'll get his WhatsApp number also to you. So that's uh, one way to connect. And I'm sure you guys can do together. I mean, much more that than you could do with me because sometimes I even. I mean, I would have forgotten today's uh, uh, lecture. If it was not for John sending me a smiley at around uh, half an hour before, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, no, no. I had completely forgotten that there's a talk today. Imagine. Well, some, some speakers you have to coddle. You have to coddle because they're, they're your stars. <laughs> so, 
So anyways, yeah, okay. Uh, thank you very much. And, and I, I look forward to seeing those edited videos so we can put more on. We can put more, more, more sessions like this. Uh, yeah. And we'll talk after Ipe, about how I feel about the commercialization of Zoom, which we have to pay attention to in these days. Because I would like to get higher an editor. <laughs> and See, I'd like to hire more. Guys are very interested to advertise in your surgical TV. I never wanted to put them into you. But then I think they should pay quite a lot of amount to you, man. Because yeah, you know, let, yeah, let me five years. And if they want to advertise, I think they should pay up, man. So yeah, let, let me yeah, fin finish. Yeah, let me finish the broadcast. So maybe you should ask Sam about it, okay? He, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. we'll we'll talk about that after. Okay, thank you very you, much. You uh, stick, stick, <laughs> yeah. stick around. We'll talk about it off air. Okay. See thank you, you very much for stick the around. didactic. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay. Thank you. Now, thank hold, you. Don't, don't go yet. Don't go yet. I'm I'm just getting off air.